Hi everyone, today we'll be going through a new chapter, in fact it is the last chapter of Introduction to Economics. So today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the basic stuff you have to understand for the open economy. So what is an open economy? An economy is known to be open when there is economic activity between a domestic community and an outside community. Before this, we were only talking about one single country. Now, we're going to bring in more countries into the picture. And what's happening between these countries is that there are people or businesses that are trading goods and services. So the trading of goods and services is known as economic activities. So why will there be these kind of economic activities between two countries? Remember chapter 1? We weren't only talking about the PPF, but we were also talking about specializing and trading. And one of the reasons why two countries would want to specialize and trade is so that they can help each of them push out the PPF, which is also the consumption possibility frontier, right? So both economies become better off because they can produce more, hence they can consume more. So this economic activity in general will be between two parties. So we have the domestic country, which is the home country, and we have the foreign country, or what you can call the other country, right? So the people that live in a domestic country are known as residents or locals. I think you should already know this by now. And the people from the other countries are known as non-residents or foreigners. In Singapore, we love to call them foreign talent. So I'm introducing you these terms because I'll be using them quite frequently in the explanations later. So when people trade goods and services, you're going to have exports and imports, right? So let's go through one by one. What are exports? Well, basically exports are the shipping of goods and services out of the country. And more specifically here, uh, we are talking about the domestic country. Okay, so these are goods and services that are produced domestically, produced by the home country. And all these goods and services are going to be f sold to foreigners. And exports also includes tourism into the domestic country. Why? Because you've got foreigners coming to your home country who are non-residents and they are buying your stuff. Okay, so knowing this, another way to explain exports is that these are actually inflows of value to the domestic country. Well, why is it an inflow since we are selling stuff? Well, I'm talking about inflow of value. And that is because any foreign expenditure on domestic goods and services is actually domestic income. It is income to the home country. They are the ones that created the goods and services, right? And that is why aggregate expenditure and the GDP is going to have a positive relationship with exports. When exports increase, your AE and your income is going to increase. So understanding this, let's move on to imports. What are imports? So Imports refer to the purchasing of goods and services from outside of the domestic country. Okay, so these are goods and services that are produced foreignly and are purchased by residents or locals, people of the home country. Imports also refer to domestic tourism to foreign countries. Whenever a resident or a local person goes overseas to buy certain goods and services, that is considered as an import. And imports are actually outflows of economic value from the domestic country to a foreign country. And the reason for this is because any domestic expenditure on foreign goods and services is actually income to the foreign country, right? It is the foreigners that created these goods and services. Therefore, if anybody were to buy them, it is income to the foreign country. It is not domestic income. And that is why there is actually a negative relationship between imports and your aggregate expenditure and GDP. So knowing these two pieces of information, what can we say about the aggregate expenditure equation? Well, the AE equation is simply going to sum up to this. You've got AE equals to Y equals to C plus I plus G plus X minus M. So what we can do with plus X and minus M is that we can sum it into NX, which stands for net exports. Okay, so your net exports is simply X minus M. Okay, your net exports is the net of the exports. Okay, it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching a sample of the Quickonomics online learning experience. We hope you've enjoyed it. We believe that true happiness lies in realizing ambitions and dreams. That's why we make our products specific to your needs. Simple to understand and captivating, so that you can learn effectively while saving time. Realizing those ambitions and dreams. The Quickonomics online learning experience is a range of supplementary lectures, tutorials and exam solutions in the form of videos, which you can conveniently view anytime, anywhere. 
watching our videos before and after your regular lessons at school, we aim to give you joy in learning and build academic confidence at the comfort of your own relaxed learning environment. So how can you begin? We welcome you to purchase Quickie Dollars to redeem the videos for full access to the Quickonomics online learning experience. Thank you for starting with Quickonomics.